Yeah, welcome to point to point channel. So today I will discuss about functional interfaces which are uh, introduced in Java 8 release. Okay. Yeah. So what is this uh, functional interface? You know, so functional interface is an interface in which we have a single abstract method. Okay. However, we do have a uh, default and static method inside this functional interface. Okay. So. Um, so by mistake, sometimes I mean, uh, you know, we will tempt to add a one more abstract method inside a function interfaces. So just to avoid such kind of scenarios, Java 8 team has, uh, you know, given uh, uh, annotation at the rate function interface. So if you just uh, add this annotation on top of your function interface, even if you try to add a second uh, abstract method, immediately it will throw a compile time error, right? Okay. So prior to Java 8, I mean, uh, you know, runnable interface, which has a single abstract method run method, you know, we can treat it as a functional interface earlier. Similarly, comparable, uh, which has a, uh, a single abstract method compared to, similarly, comparator, uh, you know, uh, which has a single abstract method compare method. So both are used for uh, comparing data earlier. So, so we can treat uh, these uh, interfaces as a functional interfaces prior to Java 8, right? Now, uh, you know, Java 8 release, you know, Java 8 team has uh, come up uh, with around 43 functional interfaces uh, in java.util.function package, you know. So, in our real time, usually daily, we used to, you know, process the data from our collections, right? So, what we usually we do, I mean, we will take some collections, either it could be a really set or map, and usually we iterate, and uh, then we will do our key business logic. Either it could be filtering operations, or you want to find unique elements, or you want to eliminate the duplicate elements, or, uh, you know, you want to... Uh, do some kind of mapping, take some input and do some uh, some conversion internally, all right? So like that, you have n number of requirements. So just keeping all your requirements in mind. So Java 8 has come up with uh, these predefined uh, 43 functional interfaces, okay? So now with the help of these functional interfaces, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, you can uh, fulfill all your requirements, day-to-day uh, -day requirements uh, uh, with the help of uh, both stream lambda expressions. Uh, we will discuss in the subsequent videos. So for now, just uh, you know, just remember. I mean, what is the purpose of the functional interfaces? So how many interfaces uh, are defined in the Java dot util dot function package? So so yeah, all these concepts. You know, yeah. So now out of the forty three, so you know, I will just discuss uh, the very important uh, uh, key interfaces uh, from this uh, list of forty three uh, functional interfaces, right? So the the main four pillars uh, we can say out of the this 43 uh, those are uh, this one predicate uh, function and consumer and supplier right so predicate uh, you know uh, it has a single abstract method known as test right so test it accepts a single input okay which is of type t I mean in a generic way I am saying which is of type t and uh, it returns a boolean value okay so similarly uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, uh, let's note down one more point. So predicate in the sense, I mean, uh, usually, uh, you know, in real time, okay, it will be used in case of a filtering operation. So filtering operation, when we will do, you know, so you have some uh, uh, bulk data in your collection and you want to, uh, you want to uh, filter all your elements based on some condition, okay. So in that case, I mean, uh, I mean, you will take the help of this predicate. Yeah, similarly function. So function uh, is a function interface which has a single abstract method, uh, you know, as apply. So apply it accepts a single input, okay, and returns a uh, return type of, uh, you know, uh, is R, okay, R. So basically, uh, in real time, uh, you know, whenever we want to do some kind of mapping, I mean, take some input and do some uh, processing, and finally return uh, uh, return some value. So in in such kind of requirements, you will take the help of uh, this uh, function, okay. Similarly, consumer. Consumer is also a functional interface which has a single abstract method that known as accept. Okay, so basically it accepts a single input and uh, it doesn't return anything. It basically returns void. Okay, so in real time, you know, whenever you want to iterate your uh, uh, elements of your collection, so then you will take the help of you know for each method, right? Which act, which expects a consumer. So in that case, you can uh, take the help of this consumer. Similarly, supplier. Supplier in the sense it has a, a single abstract method known as get, 
so basically it doesn't uh, uh, expects any kind of input and uh, you know it it returns a value of type r okay so these are the main four pillars okay so just try to uh, you know uh, remember these four functional interfaces why because you know uh, you you will uh, uh, you will f <clears throat> come across uh, these four uh, four interfaces uh, as part of your uh, you know day to day uh, real time requirement okay so now we do have uh, I mean few more flavors uh, uh, which comes uh, from these uh, four pillars itself okay so if you see uh, same four pillars okay uh, if you have a input of uh, you know two arguments okay so for example uh, by predicate by predicate by in the sense two right so so same uh, abstract the test i mean now it acts say two in parameters t and u and boolean values Similarly, by function uh, and by consumer, we don't have a by supplier. So by function also same apply method, two input parameters T and U and return a type of R. Similarly, consumer also two input parameters T and U and it doesn't return anything. Okay. Yeah. So we do have few more flavors. Now the same pillars, okay, exclusively for primitives. Okay. So let's assume take the first one predicate, predicate for uh, primitives. Primitives in the sense, you know, they have given uh, uh, for integer, double and long. Okay. So predicate, you know, right, we have a test method inside that and, uh, you know, uh, the input, whatever you pass, okay, if uh, that input is of type integer, okay, then uh, better you choose int predicate instead of a normal predicate, okay. Similarly, if your input is of type double, better choose double predicate. If your input is of type long, then better choose long predicate, okay. In the same way, function, function also same thing, they have given three flavors, int, uh, double and long, okay. So here you, you will uh, pass some input and in return you will expect some uh, return result right so in some kind of requirements go with function right so if you are uh, if you are going to pass a input of type integer then better choose int function instead of a normal function okay so if it is a double choose double function long means long function right similarly consumer consumer also as i said i mean uh, so usually whenever we used to iterate the data of from your collection then no, you uh, go with uh, uh, this consumer into functional interface, right? So, if you are uh, having a uh, input of type integer, then go with int consumer. Double means double consumer. Long means long consumer, right? Yeah. In the case of supplier, so supplier, we have now this time four flavors, right? So, and you know the method name is also slightly changed. In a normal supplier, you have a method name only get. Now. If your input, uh, so of course here there is no input, okay. If you are expecting a result of type integer, then you know, go, prefer int supplier, okay. And here the abstract the name is get as int, okay. Similarly, if you are uh, expecting a result of type double, then better go with get a double supplier instead of a supplier, get as double, similarly get as long. And here they have also given for Boolean. So Boolean supplier here, uh, if you are expecting a Boolean, then get as Boolean, right. So, I mean, in addition to these flavors, uh, they have given two more important uh, uh, interfaces, unary operator. Unary operator basically takes a function. You know, in the function, we have a abstract method apply, which has a input of type uh, T and returns a result of type R, right? In case, if your input and result both are of the same type, then prefer unary operator instead of a normal function, right? Similarly, binary operator, it extends a by function, right? So now in by function in the sense, I mean, uh, basically there will be two input parameters and the return type of uh, type R, right? Now, if you are two input parameters and if your result of type R, all three are of the same type, then better go with the binary operator instead of the by function, right? Yeah, so these are the main important key interfaces uh, which we use in our day-to-day -day life. Of course, in addition to these interfaces, uh, we do have some other interfaces in the remaining uh, list of 43 okay so that we will a uh, bit uh, rarely use okay so yeah so in the next video we will uh, you know uh, uh, do uh, a implementation also for these functional interfaces i will show you how to implement yeah in the, uh, in the in the next video yeah yeah so that's it for now if you really like my video please like and share and subscribe to my channel